super witches are currently one of the best troops post update but can still easily fail regardless of how many hours you put in so i'll be breaking down everything from the best hero equipment to simplifying each step to help you master this strategy and three star any base but first we need to start with the best build for each hero to give them a strong foundation to sweep through any base Let's start with the Grand Warden. Typically, there are two sets that you are going to run depending on the level of investment that you have in them. The Eternal Tome plus the Rage Gem is oftentimes the most optimal way to warden walk and support your super witches to stay up the whole attack this is super helpful as you oftentimes won't take many rage spells and will need a defensive support to make your super witches move through the base like it's butter there are very little to no downsides at all due to this just being a very powerful combo for super witches now the fireball plus the rage gem is a decent combo that can work if you can get some value from the fireball. Keep in mind that the fireball will get the best value when it's maxed out. So this is a bit of a limit. Otherwise, you can just use Zapquake as it's just often better. This set is really heavy on offense. So you wanna use as many rage spells to keep your healers raged and making sure that the super witches don't die. Most of the downside though comes in the fact that you have to aim the fireball and you have to get value because if it doesn't go where you want, you're not really going to have a lot of support towards the back end of the base. Now, as for the Barbarian King, you can honestly run the Gauntlet with the Rage Vial as it's basically his best and most flexible set regardless of how you're using him. Now, of course, if you don't have the Giant Gauntlet, I'd recommend the Vamp Stash as the Vamp and Rage work very well together. But if you have the Gauntlet, there's never a reason not to run the Rage Vial, but you can use the Vamp Stash, just it might not be worth the investment. Now with the Archer Queen, you have a nice amount of flexibility of running the Frozen Arrow with the Invisibility Vial, which allows you to have support via slowing defenses and making it just easier to get through those type of defenses. Or you can run the Healer Puppets with the Invisibility Vial for the extra healers as you go deeper into the base. There is not really a right or wrong option between these two sets, so just choose what is currently available to you. So how do you know when a base is good for super witches? Well, smash attacks like super witches don't really need a ton of planning to get into. However, you want to focus on being able to set two sides of the funnel and also knowing where to place in your fireball to get value or zap quake. You do want to make sure that you have a clear way of getting through the base though. So either get going through the town hall and then to the eagle or going from the eagle to the town hall regardless of kind of where they're placed. You want to prioritize them. Otherwise, the jump spells should be used to open up as many compartments as possible, especially if you're only running one jump, but you do want to make sure that you're able to get a large portion of that to keep your big boys, super witches, and queen moving through the base consistently with the rage. Otherwise, there's not really too much that you need to look for when you're choosing the super witch smash. However, when and where should you use the fireball or the zap quake? Well, the zap quake is often great if you're removing defenses like the expos, infernos, or even scatter shots in a given area. Typically, five to six lightning spells with one quake is more than enough. Mainly, you want to try and focus on creating a funnel on the interior part of the base, which should be on the same side as your warden walk to not only speed it up, but also set good pathing if done correctly for both your super witches and your warden walk. Now, if you're running the fireball, this often means that you want to get a ton of value. So try to look for a lot of buildings in a given area, especially defenses, and also possibly creating a part of a funnel from that is the name of the game since you aren't using a zap quick in this situation. Oftentimes, this is going to be better in key defense areas that you cannot take down with a lone zap quake. However, sometimes it's just going to be better to run zap quake due to you being able to keep the defensive support on your super witches. Choosing one of these will really come down to what you have invested into and what fits your attacking style. With that said, here's the default army comp that I would recommend running for most situations depending if you're running the Zapquake or if you're running the Fireball version. As for your Siege Machine, 
keep the siege berg due to its valuable addition to add troops onto the map which also doubles as a funneling siege this will really help with any cc that you have especially root riders as they can basically help with the back end and smash through the base and also open walls which really helps so let's get started with your first step funneling you're pretty much going to start by setting up your warden walk with five healers since you are using the rage gem your healers do get a nice amount of rage to keep your warden alive and prevent him from losing too much hp if your warden isn't taking too much damage you don't really need to place in the healers just yet but you do want to make sure that you are setting up a really nice funnel this is going to set one half of your funnel and the best part is you don't really need to worry about where he walks now you do want to pair this with either the fireball or the zap quake focus on removing defenses like infernos expos or scatter shots with either but with the zap quake especially you cannot reach a massive area so try to look for them at a very close range otherwise this can really speed up your warden walk and create pathing for your super witches now if you're running the fireball keep your warden walking into the base so that way you can get the perfect angle to snipe off a group of defenses this should be paired mostly with the earthquake spell so that fireball can do massive damage and get a really big funnel of course if you don't have a high level fireball which i'm not expecting most people to have pair it with some lightnings and you should be fine just keep in mind that the damage is still going to be lower and the splash radius might also be lower now outside the warden walk funnel you've got the other side to set with the barbarian king and the siege barrack this is an easy way to set the other side of the funnel and also to make sure that you're cutting off your super witches as they dive into the base but once you have both sides of your funnel set with the warden walk and you've cut the other side with the siege barrack it's time for your super witches so with your super witches and the queen lure over the grand warden and start diving into the base typically you are going to be using the the super wall breaker to enter the base possibly get another layer and of course you've got your jump spells to open a larger area of course the amount of jump spells that you have depends if you're using the zap quick version or the fireball version but either way you are taking root riders within your cc this will pretty much negate a lot of that especially if they move in with your super witches which they should this will allow you to get a lot of value off of them and allows you to save a couple spells or even get deeper with the jump spells, which can really help. Having the Eternal Tome is a really nice thing. Having an early rage to help push the Super Witches and the Big Boys through with an Eternal Tome around a deeper set area where there's a lot of damage, this can really help. However, if, of course, if you have the Fireball, you really just have to hope that the rage spells hold strong and keep your healers and Super Witches and Big Boys doing a ton of damage to absolutely smash the base. Otherwise, you have a back end rage and and you also have a back-end royal champion to help mitigate the damage down even if you're dealing with the enemy cc all the way on the back end you should be completely fine realistically you're gonna have more than enough super witches and of course as a lot of troops left up that you should be able to be able to clear the enemy cc with the super witches without having to deal with it early or even later now with this knowledge you can go and practice this super strong strategy if you want more info on warden walks though with and without the fireball check this guide out on the warden walks